good morning, afternoon or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Come out today on this beautiful day. Brought this uh, little EDC hammock that apparently I've not used since Sweden because it had some uh, krona in it. <laughs> so a bit of a find there. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. I thought I'd come out and uh, bake some bread because I need some. So uh, I thought I'd show you how to bake the bread in a Dutch oven over a campfire. You've seen me do it before, but I thought I'd do a dedicated video. So uh, I'll collect some firewood. I've already got our campfire set up from the last time I was here. And we'll get going on that. As you can see, my juicer from last time. And I forgot I left one of my favourite spoons here. Just rearrange this fire pit a bit. Open it up a little bit. It's closed off for the uh, rock cooking. There we go, I think I'll use some of this oak that I found as the base layer. Quite a big bit here as a bit of a brace. Some birch bark off of that. Some fat wood that I brought with me. Also got some jute tine with me and I made some fresh char punk wood and char cloth the other day. So I used some of that. Should have a bit of flint in here somewhere.
that tea's good. <laughs> so I have here a glass jar, just a recycled one. And I've got some uh, double cream or heavy cream for you Americans. And I'm going to pour the cream no more than about halfway up in here. Close that off. This is going to make our butter, which I can use to make the bread and after I've made the bread. So just make sure that's nice and secure. And we need to shake this for probably about 10 minutes before it churns. You'll eventually start to get a very thick cream, but don't stop. You need to persevere, even though it gets harder and harder to shake. Eventually, oh God, I'm out of breath. <laughs> eventually you'll start to see and hear a solid lump in there in some liquid. And this is not gonna take much longer. That is basically gonna be your butter. Here I have flour, yeast, salt, and some golden caster sugar. I'll put the exact measurements down below in the description field. There's my butter, it smells lovely. I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon, maybe a little more to my mix. And I've got about 300 millilitres of warm water here. Now often when I'm warming the water I'll put the butter in it, but that's quite soft anyway. Don't go in with all your water straight away. All flowers can be a bit different. And all recipes can be a bit different. I like to use just a butter knife just to cut it in until you can start using your hands. Eventually it will come together, like so, and you'll have to switch to using your hands to uh, work that together. Always have a bit of extra flour handy, always helps. And I can just start working this in the bowl. Eventually your dough's gonna start to come together it's going to get very elastic and you won't feel any of them little lumps in it and it'll be very nice to handle you'll know the feeling so that's all nicely kneaded now so i'm going to actually leave this in the bowl because i've got some cling film with me which is just going to help it not to dry out um, you may have seen me in the past i've just put it in the dutch oven to proof which is very easy to do and it's nice to keep the Dutch oven warm as well but um, I'm just going to put this near the fire and uh, I'm in no rush for it to rise Well as you can probably see that's grown quite a lot so what I'm going to do is knock it back and put it into the Dutch oven and let it reproof just a little bit more. You don't have to do that. I could have proofed this straight in the Dutch oven and put it straight over the fire when it had uh, proofed enough. It's just the lid lifter. In the Dutch oven itself. I've actually put some uh, baking paper in the bottom there just to help a little against burning and also just to make it easier to get out. All right, so I'm gonna take this off, which I will keep. Lovely. So this, I'm just gonna knock the air out of it. I 
can oil your bowl as well, so nothing sticks, but it's not too bad. So just going to knock the air out of it, bring it together, put it in there, squish it down a little bit, it's quite a lot of dough for, for this Dutch oven. I'm going to put that lid on, and we're going to hang this near, but not over the fire. I've actually got some carving bits with me today, so what I might do is try and do a small butter knife for when the bread's done. When it's starting to rise, what I might do is just put it straight over, because it'll rise a little bit more whilst I'm uh, putting the coals on and heating up the cast iron. It's looking good. the shape more or less roughed out. I should have really thinned this down before doing the shape. It's not going to win any prizes but uh, that's our butter knife. See how that goes when the bread's done. What I've done here, because we're near the end of the bake, is I'm just rotating it next to the fire, just to put a little bit of colour on the sides, because you get the heat from above and below, but not so much from the sides, especially if your loaf's a bit smaller than the Dutch oven. So I'm just going to rotate it for a few minutes, and remember, the Dutch oven will stay hot after you take it off. So if you leave your loaf in there, you can leave it to finish it off. But if it's done, don't leave it in there any longer. Let's have a little look. Looks pretty perfect on top. Yeah, not bad. Just leave that to rest for a minute. It's had about its right amount of time. I think we should be good. Just want to make sure it's not uh, doughy in the middle. So what do you think? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's got that hollow sound on the bottom. Let's hope it tastes as nice as it looks. We just need to cut into it. No, I'm only kidding. Brought a bread knife with me. Moment of truth, you're going to see it at the same time as me. Oh, that's perfect. Could you be more perfect? It's important not to cut into these as soon as they uh, come off the heat. Uh, they'll just tear apart. So leave them to cool a bit. It's still nice and warm in the middle. I have a nice thick piece. I think I deserve it. Yes. So all we need now is some of that butter. 
hopefully this bread's warm enough to uh, soften that a bit. I'll put it in a cool bag. There we go, they're starting to spread now. That only took a few seconds. I did add a little bit of salt to that butter. How good does that look? One thing left to do. Here it goes, warm, buttery, fresh bread. Oh, that was well deserved. <laughs> soft with a nice crust. This is probably the best loaf I've baked outside. <laughs> I suppose I was putting a lot of effort into it being a dedicated video. This is coming home with me. Nice and cool now. Right, that's me done for the day. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Check the description for any more details on the recipe, give it a go yourself. I'll see you all soon, stay safe till then, goodbye.